What's going on, everybody? This is Michael from Stigma Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a, uh, a podcast style of video. Um, I have a special guest. His name is OT Dub Wolf or oh, Wolfgang. Sorry, Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't. They don't know the OT Dub. They don't know. That's yes, right. I got you guys. I, I I know him personally. So yeah, yeah, Wolfgang, and he's also um, one third of Team Starwin. What is Gucci in the booty, everybody? What's going on? Um, so, Wolfgang, man, how did you get yeah. into playing Final Fantasy the trading card game? I actually never talked to you about this before. Yeah, I never. And it's kind of weird. I really don't remember, like, exactly how. I just remember um, being at my computer or searching through my phone, one of them. And for some reason, I'm looking up the Final Fantasy card game. Like, I'm looking to see if Final Fantasy has a card game. And I don't even know or remember how that came about. Um, probably I was going down some YouTube wormhole or something. I really don't remember. But um, and then I remember immediately calling the, my our other teammate Cody, and because he bet like he would beg me and like always be in my ear about getting back into Magic because we've been playing. We played a bunch of different card games, um, and when he came across Magic, he fell in love with Magic. And after I quit. He kept playing, so he wanted me to get back in. And when I found out like the rules to Final Fantasy and how similar it was to to uh, Magic, I called him up and we talked about it. And yeah, we just immediately we just started looking up different decks and cards and kind of just. No, did did you jump in during like Opus Two? Because I remember I was playing in Opus One because I got into the game because of my uh, my roommate Arlen Gonzalez. You know, he was like, "Yo, Final Fantasy is having a card game." Blah blah blah. And now me, me personally, I, I don't like Final Fantasy. I, I could care less for the actual IP. Uh, there are a few Final Fantasy games I love. You know, Tactics. Uh, I like Final Fantasy IX because this is the first game to me that has two players. You can actually play with two, you know, with your friends. Though you're sharing, you know, the characters, but it, it just I felt like you could play with your friends. But it, yeah. Essentially, you could just pass the controller to your friend if you wanted to, right? I controlled it. <laughs> yeah. No, but I actually had the option of having a second, second controller and they controlled those characters. Um, Final then, Fantasy 9 was actually my I did, favorite. I played Final Fantasy 8. I couldn't beat the second disc because my, my, my disc 2 got scratched and I couldn't pass. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't progress. And I'm like, great. You know, but uh, other than that. So he told oh. me this, he tells me there's a there's a card game coming out and I'm like I I, I per, like I said I didn't really care and then boom the card game comes out he buy he has the box he has all this stuff and he's telling me about the game and I'm like okay cool and then I see the deleters in the game you know I was like ooh so if I don't know <laughs> deleters my boy I rock with deleter so he was in the game and I read the deleter and I was like this card sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which which was the first one you saw the, the two uh, drop or? no the three drop the he three told, drop. yeah yeah he yeah, told yeah. me he told me the the super rare one or whatever or is it rare or a hero or legend I don't remember I think it's a rare I think I think no I think it might be a hero I don't know but is he a hero could be a hero hmm. fuck it I'm saying he's a hero <laughs> <laughs> and so he showed me the card I read it and I'm like let's put in play we enter the field you got to break one of your characters yeah I'm like this card sucks like this mm-hmm. garbage like why why would they do that to my boy like he wasn't sacrificing people like that man maybe he was but he, yeah he did he sacrificed people. He, man he was, <laughs> was, was low-key kind of villainous man he, he was he was he, he had no respect for nobody and then uh then i started to see the stuff that you can do with it like there was a geomancer you kill the geomancer you draw a car and i was like oh you know he's not that bad and i didn't know the rules all too well so like i really fell in love with the car because I used to play Force of Will, and when I when you attack and someone blocks you with Force of Will, if you kill that Resonator, you can still deal damage. So there, you there's, still there's, get there, a point of yeah, you still get to do the point of damage. Like there's no Phantom blocks in Force. Oh, of Will. got you. Yeah, so, yeah, that threw and, me off when I first started playing this game too. I, I was like, what, I, I, what I do come, you mean? I, come, I don't get my damage. Yeah, I come from playing Naruto as well. There's no Phantom blocks. Once, yeah. Once I kill your ninja and the exchange of Jutsu. I am dealing you. I'm getting prizes. Like you better give me some prizes, boy. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So that, that, I, I love the deleted because you were just going, "Hey, it's special. Pay the one earth. Kill them. Give me. Take the damage. Let's go." And he was such a good card. And then I found out that that's not how you play this game. And I just like 
hated the card. <laughs> yeah, we started playing um like midway through the second set. Um and it was I think I, I remember, remember talking because to people. I think uh Jason Myers is also one of your teammates. Uh he was yeah. saying oh he posted on the on the on Facebook because I was on Facebook. I think we have like the same mutual friends. They're like thirty five mutual friends. Yeah. So he posted talking about getting to FF. I'm like, yo, Minus is gonna play FF. And now me and Minus, we go way back in terms of Naruto. He's also a Naruto player, and we used to be in the same team. So he was one of my teammates, and uh, before, and so I was like, yo, Minus is gonna be playing the game. We can, you know, I, I was, to me, I was more excited getting the, the gang back, like all the, all, you know, the old yeah, team, team you know, Kage members you know, coming back. back. Yeah, yeah, but that wasn't the case. Some of us had lives. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, me and Cody called him afterwards just because not even the fact that, like, I think he'd like the format of the game, just the fact that I know he also loves Final Fantasy because I, I don't think he played, yeah, no, he didn't play, he didn't get into Magic with us. So it was just the fact that of the IP, just like, I know he loved Final Fantasy. So we Why called man? him like, yo, Final Fantasy got a card game, bro. So yeah, and then we all got together. We It was kind of difficult, low key, to like get some, like, I remember we ordered, um, a full, a complete set of Opus One and Opus Two, all the commons and rares from Australia. We literally had to wait two weeks oh. for those for those to come in, just so we can like have other cards because we just had uh, we went down to Pandemonium Books and Games, and we went and got uh, some starter decks, and yeah, that's all we had. That's all we could play with. It was kind of low key hard to get the set when we started playing. Yeah, it was pretty pretty difficult, and it was really short printed, and I think that's. Something uh, that I feel, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I don't have all the research. I don't have all the paperwork in front of me. But I feel like that that's what kind of killed the game in, in a sense in terms of, like, like, the game is going strong now. Like, it, it, yeah, it's it, doing it, good now. But at the start, it was it, very, But I feel like very, it could have been stronger weak. <laughs> had they had the weak. product. A lot of people had to power, either power through it or just was like, I'm good. I'm done. Yeah. I can't deal with it. There was a lot of lack of competition and, and stuff. And organized start. play and stuff like that, too. So Yeah. Now, I know, you know, do you do other stuff with that? I, I know you like OT Dub because you, you stream games. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you do besides streaming? Yeah, games? my, 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 like my life, like I, I, my life is OT Dub, which is a, which is the spelled out version of an acronym, which is OTW, which is off the wall um, from Vans. I, I'm a sneaker, I'm a huge, huge sneakerhead, but I collect sneakers. And um, I make YouTube videos on that, and which is another, which is a reason why I would my our Team Starwin channel will never be monetized. It never, you guys will never see commercials or nothing. But my that's my life. I collect sneakers. I also play video games and stream video games live. So that's like the main thing I I love to do. Well, besides play Final Fantasy and card games, like I've been playing card games since I was like. 11 or 12 so that's something even though like somebody once told me you'll all you'll you'll never quit you'll just take very long hiatuses because before final fantasy i didn't play a hard game for like four or five years i thought i was done but yeah we'll i remember right used, to, used to play naruto as well that's how i actually i mean you do naruto yeah uh, i played naruto for a short stint yep i played naruto up until um rotation? that that what's the card your joe made you can run you you can still run three of those or four whatever well, the, the limit the yeah, max the was. championship cards so naruto has this thing where like uh not has but had this thing because the game is no longer there where at worlds the uh championship winner of worlds could design his own card and obviously he didn't make the entire effect that he had to collaborate with the, the, the designers of the game and then they will put his signature on the top of the card top right thing designed by in this case, Joe Cologne. Um, and then there's a couple winners, like six winners total. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And it would be nice to see something like that in Final Fantasy. Oh, man, that would be super dope to, to do that. Even if it's just their signature on the card, I think still think it's pretty dope. Um, yeah, man. My OT Dub channel, actually, it was deleted. Um, It got banned Ooh. from YouTube two years ago. Why? So... It, and YouTube is like my, it's my life, man. I love entertaining and just having a good time. So that's why, that's how the, the Team Starwind channel came about. I was like, hey, I make car, I like playing cards. I'm gonna make some card channels. Let me make a card channel. Why did your channel get banned? Um, crazy. It was crazy. I made a video kind of like, it was like a story time video 
I went to a Dunkin' Donuts. I forgot my credit card and some lady behind me just paid for me. And I was like, oh, snap. So I went home. I grabbed my card later that day. I paid for somebody at a Burger King behind me. And I went back home. I popped on my camera. I was like, let me tell the people the story. I told the story. And the video got flagged for scam, spam, and solicitation. Oh, wow. And yo, that's just, crazy. Yeah. It was, yo. I, and I, I remember it like nothing. It was right when Pokemon Go came out. And I was in the middle of filming a parody video for Pokemon Go. And I got the email like, this video was deleted because of this. And I was like, all right, whatever, fine. I don't really care. Then I got the second email. Yeah, you violated our TLCs and your channel has been terminated. Yo, my heart was broken. <laughs> heart broke, man. Yeah, Sad reacts did. only, man. Mm -mm. But I, I believe you have a teammate who actually make, went to Nats. Um, how how yes. did you do? Dude, Cody, I'm so proud of that dude, man. He's the f them. It's so crazy. And I'm, it's like a bittersweet thing. I remember the very first tournament. Yeah, the very first, like, quote unquote, big tournament we ever went to was like a 24 or 26 man tournament in Rhode Island. Um, and it was the, the grand prize was a foil cloud card. This was like cloud was like, I don't know how much it costs now, but Foil yeah. Cloud was like sixty dollars or something yeah, like that. It was, was pretty expensive back like then. And yeah, and so he topped that. He came in like I think fourth, and he wanted some like a couple packs and a a, a, a play mat. Um, and now fast forward to now, this dude le legit had not played the game or come to any tournament or anything like that in like a month, maybe two months. Just hasn't. He's just been you know living his life or whatever. And he comes back to this uh to this crystal cup and he takes it home. Like oh, I'm so proud of this dude. Like, I just I don't know what's up with him. He just got that, you know. Some people just have that that thing to just to just win. They just they just play the game good, how no do, matter how much you practice or how, whatever. How do you do at the uh at Nat? At Nat, I honestly I don't remember, but he didn't, I know he didn't talk. I know that much. Yeah, I got I had two of my teammates right there, um Jesse Freeman and um Brian Batista. Uh, Jesse Freeman I think he went four three, and I think Brian went like uh, five two or something like that. I'm Batista, he topped though, right? Yeah, he, he came he in top, top eight, right? And then top thirty two, and then he won the first round top thirty two, made the top sixteen, and he lost in top sixteen due to a ex burst. Oh, one EX, short, yeah, hurt after after ex burst, something like that. Uh, I really, that's the, the only thing that I don't like about this game is actually the EX burst. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, yeah, you get, um, you get punished for doing good. Yeah, it's, it it's, it's like, I understand it's supposed to be like a combat mechanic, but the Jill, well, that's, I, I, I mean, I, I'm okay with Jill because Jill doesn't destroy. She like, you know, freezes people. So that's, that's okay. That slows your opponent down and gives you a chance to come back. But that's the only thing like with this Odin game. and cards like Chaos Walker Wheel. Uh, even the Levi Leviathan, those things are to me like very powerful, uh, and we only have yeah. one card that can deal with it. That's the thing about this game; it it very much caters to, um, I guess I don't know how to say this any other way, but like people that have never played a TCG game before, it's we catch it's it's a, it throws me off with this game. Like for like the EX burst, you get you get punished for doing well. Um, you have ghost blockers. You even though you take out the team, if you were blocked, you still don't get no damage. Um, you cannot. Um, you can't. What's the word? I'm, I don't want to say chain. I add a link to make sense in the Final Fantasy world. Um, you can't add a link to to it to the changing or yeah at the start of a phase at the end of the phase. Oh yeah, a, you can't. You can't. There's yeah. no end, there's no end phase procedures. There's no. You can't. Start you can't. Procedures. You know. Yeah, and activate something at your end phase. Yeah. Um, if you if your opponent misses a mandatory effect you have to tell them about it like you know which is that that just throws me way off or just it's something i really had to get used to because any other cool. every other tcg i've ever played i'm like hey man you missed that you missed it you know it's that's on you it's my turn <laughs> <laughs> well, i mean some there's some games are uh where if you both both of you guys miss the mandatory effect and both of you get to get like a warning uh for game losses for that Really crazy. Really, that's crazy. Like, I played some games that they did that. And it was like, wow. Uh, I didn't know that was a double game loss. So. 
Uh, that's something too that I really hate about this game is the the double game losses on the tie. Like that. that oh yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of funny. Like, that's I, I don't. Know. I, think, I feel like it should go to at least minimal. At least it should go to whoever got the most amount of prizes. And if it's a tie, then you should just it should just be a draw, right? It should just. Well, they're trying to draw. they're trying to avoid the double, the intentional draw, the ID, which is it's, okay. Uh, and I respect that. I respect the the, the no IDs. I, I hate IDs because it tends to, you know bubble people out from making top, top in events then but I feel, death. Like, I feel like they, yeah i feel like this game should have always have a clear cut winner it should never be a yeah. double game i should always be okay if this is a tie then do this if that's a tie then do that until there's a clear cut winner yeah right 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 I'll always do something until there's a winner because otherwise both taking a loss it's like dang dude hold on like i didn't even i was playing really good he, he couldn't kill me he was playing really good I, I couldn't kill him, and, like, I got to lose for that? It doesn't make sense. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just cool. It's not, I mean, it, it's getting better. Uh, hopefully, they listen to our cries, and maybe they'll do something about it. <laughs> you know, what the game do? is fun, though, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's especially dope since I get to see all my favorite characters because, like I said, I like actually like the game. And Final Fantasy Nine being – Final Fantasy Nine and Ten are my two favorite Final Fantasies. Oh, we know Titus, nine. I don't know. He's we not – We know Nine's been. your favorite. <laughs> huh? Yeah, no, Nine is my number one. Nine is Z-Dane. for sure my yeah. number one. <laughs> Titus, <laughs> Titus hasn't been, like, impressing me too much. But Zidane, Z- the, the Zidane's they've been putting out, man, I can't – no, I, I play all I, – I can play all of them. Like, I love them. Speaking They're of so putting cool. out – have you seen any of the uh, spoilers for Opus? Uh, is it seven? Opus seven? Yeah. Opus seven. Yeah, yeah. They got. I, I mean, I've noticed as the Opuses go along, there these effects are getting wilder and wilder. Man, this is no longer the the slow game that it was in Opus one, Opus two. You can do some crazy stuff. But now, believe it or not, even in Opus one, it wasn't slow because before it was on Opus one. Oh, this is what I remember. Uh, I remember my first time playing, like, and I got hit with this. I just wanted to throw the table across the room. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I it mean, was, because it was, it was just the fact that because it was, it was so slow, go, when somebody did go something crazy, you couldn't do nothing. Into Delita on the first turn. Like that. Who? Go, go Bez into the Delita. Oh, go Bez, dude. Yeah, go Bez reigns. Be, be, and the reason why he reigns supreme was because not, no, no, nothing else could bring out, or well, besides, uh, what's this, Alcid combo. You had Alcid combo. But that was and Opus 2, isn't Lopez. it? Huh? But that Alcid was Opus 2. Yeah, he's so Opus this, 2, yeah. This game is but those cards were, those, at the time, those cards were stupid strong. I'll say it's still pretty strong, but yeah. their cards were just ridiculously strong. But now, I mean, you got Igis, right? Who's in, who's coming in Opus 7, who, who is a warrior of light. Okay. He gives all me, warrior lights brave. Let me put that and um, when you play him, you can play any two drop four. Like, so you can now, there's now, there's so much more cards that you can just value, value, value versus back then. Somebody drop a Gobez on you, you're like, yo, wait. No, 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 I understand what you're saying. I'm, you know, I'm just letting you know that the, the, they were those those early game power spikes always existed, but now everything is becoming an early game power spike. Uh, but I think I think that's that's, that's going to make the game better, dude. I, I, that's just my opinion. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just I like broken stuff. Right? Nah, I mean I don't mind speed. Nah, speed's good. Speed is good. People like people. People honestly, people will complain. Like yo, this is but too I, OP. I feel like this it, is whatever, whatever. But at the same time, people like you know when they're on the giving end of that, when they're just going crazy, doing crazy dope plays and stuff like that, it attracts some people. I mean, I, so I feel like this get... is probably the only way you can try to keep up the top of the start, right? Like, to, to, to do oh, like man. That. Yeah, that, that, because that deck I, I've, just... I've, I've, <laughs> I've, been watch, I've been looking at all the cards that have been coming out, and I yet to see anything that says F you top of the start. All I see is cards that <laughs> says, hey, look, this this works in top of the start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're getting more more firepower. Yeah, so I think like the it's still gonna be a deck to to play in the next set, um, and then but everything else is gonna keep up with it. That's not, I don't think that's what's going on. I think that's what's gonna happen. A lot of the decks will be able to keep up with Turbo this card perfectly fine, and that's what you're probably yeah. gonna do this seven. Yeah, but that that, that the card you were talking about, uh, I guess. Pretty, yeah, he's a pretty yeah, good card. Well, actually, oh, you, you cut out really bad there. I cut out. Yeah, you're cutting out right now. Uh, I don't know what it is. Could be internet. 
How about now? There you go. You're coming a lot better. Yeah, um, my bad. This is actually one of the cards that I really like in Opus um, 7. Let me, let me bring it up real quick. I like it, but at the same time when I seen it, I was like, why? Why Square? Why did you make this card? Like, <laughs> Who, I guess? It's the snow. Oh, snow. Yeah, that snow is obnoxious. Hold on. Let me, let me bring so, it up. Let me snow. tell what it does. So snow is a forecast uh, backup. Oh, oh my god i you know what i don't even gotta see it yeah yeah i know exactly what, yo yes. four costs backup ice when you when i attack i dull it forward right <laughs> yes yo bro come what so what it was, is that it was like hey look the, the one cost snow was, was pretty good but it was so weak how could we make them better man let's just give that effect to all your forwards <laughs> yeah right that's not like Yo, wind Aerith is coming back. <laughs> that three drop back up. Well, I mean, I, I think she's still prevalent in the meta, but no one really plays her. It's kind of weird. Uh, did if you, did she, you well, watch look, any of the videos? If she was or is it? If she was or not? Now she most definitely will be because yo, that's crazy. That card is really crazy. Did you watch any of the videos for Nats? Uh, for no, I didn't. Uh, I think like they well the first day of Nats was pretty terrible in terms of the stream and it's not their fault these things do happen like people get technical difficulties and I think the stream was there was no visual but just an audio so I I didn't get a chance to uh, see uh... you know because like when I'm at work I can't listen to the audio I have to like glimpse at the at the you know the stream at the screen to see the video, uh, but I never have an audio, so I have to like figure out what's going on. And this time, there was no actual stream, but an audio. And I was like, great. <laughs> uh, oh, but wow. I think they got it up and running. They fixed it, the issue afterwards. I don't know how long it took them to do it, but you know, these things happen, and it's not their fault. Especially when you're in a place that you don't normally set up, right? When you are mm -hmm. have to set up at a, a, a convention or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of out of your control sometimes. But uh, there was a match that I was watching, and one of them was the um, Moogle deck that played Sarah. It was a Ice Lightning Moogle deck. And it was I, played in Nats? Yeah, I think I'd see it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I would like to see that build. I, I think that's a cool. I always thought it was like a fun deck, but never something super like to be played that in the high competitive field like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty aggressive. Like when uh, when it gets going, man, it, it gets going. It's really like tough to to beat. Uh, and he was going through some of his opponents and just wrecking them with the uh, with the Sarah, man. It, it was pretty amazing to watch and fun to watch. And uh, kudos to the guy who's probably I don't remember his name, but hopefully uh, shout he out sees to homie. The, yeah, hopefully he sees the video. We know that we're showing him some respect. But. There was a, there was some you know some stuff that was going on in the at Nats. Um, when I was watching the stream, there's lots of lots of misplays, and you know it happens. You're playing at the highest level of Final Fantasy, well second to highest because I think the highest level will be Worlds, right? The second yeah. to highest level of FF. So you know, people get nerves and stuff. I, I watched some of the players and they were shaking. Like you see their hands, they were shaking, super nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, um, like I watched the the winner. Like Chris, Christopher Lopez or Chris Lopez, and when I was watching this game, he made so many misplays, but he still, you know, he still got the win, right? He managed to come out on top. Yeah, but there yeah, weren't. I mean, I, I mean I, I, just to me, mis to me, there are misplays, but there weren't misplays because he was playing super conservative. And I'm like, there was no need for that. You could have just crushed him because he can't see the guy's hand. So I can see the guy's. I can see both players. Oh, yeah. So he doesn't know what you know. You know he doesn't have exactly. that that knowledge. But if he was going all out like how, how I felt the deck should be played uh, you know, in the mirror match, he would have been. He would have crushed him by turn three, won the game. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you but know, he, it just depends on the player. Like, he that could just be his game. Like, his game style is to play kind of slower. Or maybe that's the way he's built his deck to play kind of slow and just be prepared. Oh, I he, know he was playing turbo discard. There's no playing slow. Oh, he's playing turbo discard. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no playing slow. There's only one gear. <laughs> but you know, yeah, he, how many turbo discard decks were at Nats? Huh? I think they were like, uh, I, I would probably say 
top of my head from what I've seen, maybe like 14 of them. 14? Yeah. And I think, how many entrants? I, I don't I don't know how many how many to enter into the tournament. Uh, I okay. know I know Freeman played two of those cards. Okay. I mean, I know like, Actually, when it comes to a high competitive card game, you're going to like, there's always that meta, those couple meta decks where you're definitely guaranteed to see. Yeah, I mean, he's been playing ice. I mean, Chris, like I said, uh, I think in one of his interviews or something like that, he said he's been playing ice since Opus 1. So, since Opus 1? Wow. You know, in Opus 1, I hate, well, not Opus, because I started playing Opus 2, but Opus, like, I hated ice back then. Hated it. So, you know, kudos to him. He's been playing ice, so. Yeah. yeah. In this case, the the, the matter of favor is his, his his color, and he's been playing it for a long time, so he's definitely gonna know the ins and outs of, of of the color better than anybody else. So, congratulations, my man. Yeah, shout out to uh, homie. Good uh, hopefully, he does good at worlds. You know, make us proud, man. When it has the world's date been announced, or all the? I think it has, or maybe it hasn't. Um, if anybody knows the date for girls, leave a comment down below. Let us let let us know. I would love to know when the when the the date is. Uh, but that's gonna be dope. I think I think it's supposed to be maybe in December because I know. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'd also like to know if they're doing the three deck thing again because that I was a hope, pretty. I, I never heard I of hope, that before. I hope they don't do that because no, I, yeah, I, I thought that was dope. I, I think that's fucking garbage, bro. Right, don't get me wrong. I think that format is pretty cool, but not for worlds. Not for world, right? I feel you. Like you, because you, you I'm not gonna lie. Ass. When I first heard about it, I'm thinking like this is a world event, and like I need, I want a deck that I feel like I built and I use to my like I just something I built and I've been practicing and going hard with. Yeah, um, that's true. Like 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 you bust your ass to get there, and you this is the deck you, that got you here. And now you really can't play it. Like you could play it, but now you could, have to play then, something else, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, now again, though, but like I've garbage. come accustomed to this game catering to just being nice. But I don't, yeah, being nice to players. So this is a way to make it so that somebody doesn't use the same deck and just get obliterated because they're so good with this deck. This is just what I've chalked it up to with how Square is running the the, the card game as as in, in general. They just try to make it nice to players. I don't know any other way to put it besides that. Nah, man, screw that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not for that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I I do like the uh, three of a kind deck format. Like, I think that. Yeah, I've never I, heard of it before. That, man. that concept sounds it. dope. But if that's something that the game was already playing, like, if we went the entire year and this is our format, like default format, then I'm okay with that. I would love to play a whole entire year doing this three different types of deck. It just changes a lot of stuff. So now you just can't win with just about one deck. Yeah, you got, I heard. You got to step your game up. But like when the normal format is just that one deck that you have to play, then we should finish the rest of the year exactly exactly like that, not change it last minute. You know, yeah. Like, like can, can you imagine? Like this happens in League of Legends. So a lot of these pros they play on the same patch for over and over. And they're really good at this patch. It's what they do. They train hours in and out. You know, 15 hour days of training. And then you next thing you know, you play at the Worlds and they change the patch. Oh, God, no. Or like, imagine playing, a, you're, you're being a basketball player, right? You've been playing basketball all your life. And you've been doing this for a long time. And then when you make it to, you know, the finals, they say, yeah, this this time we can't play with shoes. You can only play with your socks on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get you. You're accustomed to a certain way, and then they just change it last minute for this one event. It's like, yo, hold on, wait a minute. This is this isn't. This wasn't in the brochure. This ain't what I signed up for. Yeah, they don't even do these like side. Like they don't like. From my, I, I never heard of the Crystal Cups having these side events of four of a kind, so they can get you started. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, hey, that's look. another thing. I thought it would have been cool as a side event. Yeah, I mean, like I said, don't get me wrong. I I, I don't want I don't even think that I'm you know I'm shitting on the on the format. I think the format really dope, but don't change it last minute. Just let it rock how we've been doing it now, and then maybe next year if you want to make that your primary format or something like that for worlds, and you should you should at least push that format in the crystal. Well, 
it is going to be now. That's it. Like, that's how it's going to... Well, I, I don't know if they're doing it again. But yeah, Last Worlds... Yeah, Last was World was like that. And, which was cool to watch, but everybody played the same thing. So you just knew what the cards were, what the decks were, the things were. Everybody played the Mono Lightning, and they played the the Earth... Uh, I forgot what other colors were. The Earth Ice or something like that? Yeah. Back, back then? Man, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Uh, yeah, so there's just they were the three same decks. Every, almost everybody played the three same decks. It was the most optimal decks at the time. So I mean, obviously the game's gonna be different. Also, I think Rose is gonna have over seven. Is it? Yeah. That's soon. Or oh, it is gonna have it. Yeah, if it's in December. Yeah, well, yeah it's coming out. Is it gonna be legal though? It, it's a whole month, right? I, yeah, I, 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 I don't, think it will. I, I don't know the the rules too much, but I believe. Uh, they're gonna have over seven, and if they, do, I heard it's at like the store owner's discretion. But I always heard it was like a week or two afterwards. But even if it was a week or two afterwards, if it was three, it's still a whole month. It's gonna if it's in December, they got a whole month, which is crazy. It's like that's that's crazy to me because you got this is worlds. This is the highest level tournament in Final Fantasy, and you got a set that just dropped a month prior. You like what kind? How much testing do you, you only have a month of testing? That doesn't seem like doesn't seem like enough to me like it doesn't, it doesn't seem enough but these guys are at the highest level of gameplay so yeah they, this is true you, 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 you can't true. you can't take them as your average show up whether whether you feel they deserve it or not i mean i think everybody who made this kid world deserve it i don't care what somebody else says but if you feel like they don't deserve it just don't forget that these guys are, are high level players and they should be ready two days after the set comes out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I was speaking for myself personally because clearly yeah. I'm not a high-level player. I'm not going, so I'm thinking a month. I'll be stressing. No, I'll be stressing. Some of, some of these players already know what they're going to play for next set. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I know what I'm playing for next set. You know what I'm saying? I have I, I have an idea. I know what I want to but play. But I'm sure something might come out tomorrow. A spoiler might come out tomorrow and be like, well, well shit, I'm not playing what I'm playing. I'm going to play this instead. But... But you, you get the idea. Like These people know that they're, they're going to be playing. So yeah. I'm sure they'll be ready in time. And that's going to be a game changer. You know? you know, Open 7 at Worlds. No more of this boring format that we currently have. It's boring. It's going to be exciting. It, it's boring to me now it's because it's been for three months. I'm already sick of it. I want something new. You know? uh, that's so. what... I don't know. It's kind of weird because I feel like the other is i feel like this this game is moving really fast as far as coming out with sets like what yeah, is it? i think it's three months three is the standard here. three months is that's, yeah every three months a new set that's not bad almost every card game that i know through three months really i yeah. thought well you know i don't know i, I like i said i haven't pl- I, before final fantasy i haven't played a card game in four or five years so oh, gotcha. I'm, I'm a little removed from the world yeah no that's no, three months that's that's the average i mean i feel like dragon ball super dragon ball super is like Every month and a half. Oh no! Well, see what they do is they they come up with a, a set, a big ass set, and then they come up with like a, I believe it's like a, like a mini set, a little small set. But that changes the oh, format. Okay. E- even though let's say in this set there's 60 new cards, it changes the format. Yeah. And then yeah, a month and so a half the later. format is definitely about to make a shift next set. And I feel like the dudes going to world, they're gonna set the tone for the next set. They're oh, gonna for sure, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, so I, 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 I'm very hyped to to watch worlds. And, um, like I said, I watch. I, I really want to know the date. I yeah, I'm up. amped for that. I can't. I'm, I can't wait. Uh, I'm, that's something I'm for sure going to be watching. And I think my homie, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, isn't, uh, oh, no, no, only, never mind, only the winners of, never mind, never mind, scratch, scratch that, never mind. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember my homie, uh, Matthew Akumoto went and he like, he was doing really well. But well, he, he made it, finish. he made it the top eight. So he, he's, he's going to work. Yeah, yeah, I remember him doing pretty well, but then it just dawned on me that only the winner is. It's not like the Crystal Cup. What do you mean? No, the top eight from Nats is going to Worlds. The top, oh, the top eight from Nats is going to Worlds. Yeah, so that's why. Okay. That's, that's why, what, that's, that was my original thought. Okay. That's why Brian was, was upset because he was like, I'm so, so close. Oh, he was one game short. Oh, hurt. Yeah. Hurt. 
And it's funny because he he's just 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 like your your teammate. He doesn't really play the game. You know, yeah. He just got into the game. Like he's new. He's only been playing the game for like since Opus Five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, but he's and been, I said he's when I say Opus Five, I say world. late a long Opus time five. though. And yeah, he's, he's never been. left the TCG world either though. So he still got that. Yeah, he was playing Yu Gi Oh recently. He went to a tournament for Yu Gi Oh. Uh, he's I think he's going to Worlds for Epic. Like, yeah, I think he has to invite for Epic, so you know he's he's a good player. And, yeah, uh, he has tons of experience in card games and dabbles in a lot of them. So uh, this to him is just some other game. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think I'm gonna call this short because I have to go grab something to eat. I'm hungry. I don't know about you. <laughs> I think you're going to start doing your stream very soon, right? Yeah, I got to go as well. Stream up this Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Do you play on the PC or you play on the PS4? PS4. I can't, man. I cannot do mouse and keyboard. I tried. Well, I I, tried. I, I use my Xbox controller on the, on the PC. Yeah, I heard, I've heard you can do that, but you still don't get the same kind of like If I play on PC I'm, and I'm using controller, I'm going to be going up against other mouse and keyboard players, and they got the full control. Yeah, I'm still going to be getting wi wiped up. So if I'm going to be getting wiped up like that with a controller, I might as well just play on console. I, I, I still be putting in work. You know, I get, I get my one kill. And survive the rest of the match. <laughs> yeah, I'll be hiding in the bushes. Man. My highest kill <laughs> game was eleven, just last season. So I'm proud of that, and I'm trying to just trying to push it further, keep going up and up from there. Do you play Overwatch? Uh, no, nah, I, I didn't. Overwatch didn't stick with me. I played it for a little bit. I never even made it to. I forget what it was. You got to hit level twenty five, and you can play something. Yeah, like I think that. the rank ranks and stuff. Yeah, the rank matches. I never even. I got to like level twenty, twenty one. I don't, I don't even rank. I just play for fun, man. The game's fun. It's one of those games where I don't. I don't have to worry about being competitive. I just play for fun. It was. Oh, my little brother's a fiend. He's he shows me clips all the time of his gameplay. He's like, a he's a addict. He plays that all the time. Like the game was designed so so perfect in, in terms of it's it's catered for for both casual and uh, hardcore. Yeah. Sadly, I'm one of the casuals. I don't. Like, I, I I wanted to be like I wanted to go pro in the game. So when I first first game first came out, I was playing it. And I was trying to go pro. And it was hard for me to go pro when they had this game mode like it, everybody could play the same character. And it's like oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. They, they fixed it over time, but it's one of those things where like ah uh, my drive for it just went down the drain. And I was like whatever I'm not I don't care about the game. I, yeah. I I figured you might be one of those guys who play Overwatch because I know. Uh, your buddies Brandon and everybody else play those games. So. Yeah, they play it. It's they really, really, really stuck with them. Even Cody played it. I don't know if he still does. But I know he did, he did, and but it just didn't. Yeah, didn't I, I play. With I play with Cody sometimes. Uh, I play with some of the some of the guys. Mickey, you know. Uh, do you know when his next fight's gonna be? Actually, when his next fight? Um, I'm not. I think he's he's he signed up for a card on like New Year's or something crazy like that in Vegas. What? He's so, gonna be fighting in Vegas? Yeah. Oh, that's we're hoping. Lit. We're hoping he gets chosen for the card. He signed up for it, so we'll oh, see. That's, that's gonna be that's super happens. lit, dude. I, I'm, I'm gonna pay to watch that match. I have to. Oh yeah. Straight on. It's on UFC too, so it's gonna be legit. It's the legit UFC match, man. Yo, man, when he when he got his contract to UFC, I was I was super like happy, dude. Oh man, I damn near cried. Yeah. It was it was crazy, and then like the, very... the finishing the finishing flying knee like straight oh, up wow. knee to the he gave him the sagat. Yeah, mm, just yeah. that was that was yeah. unreal. Like when I was watching, I was just like, "What is this really happening?" Like <laughs> crazy. But yeah, no, I, I gotta run. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is Martin from Sigma Gaming. This is Wolfgang One Third Team Starwind. Adios. Bye.